Wisconsin Marching Band Hall of Fame. Today we have two new members to induct into that Hall of Fame and to help us with that, Professor Michael Leckrone and Dr. Corey Pompey. Please welcome Dr. Pompey. Good afternoon everyone. It's a pleasure to see you and a pleasure to be with these wonderful people who are carrying on a tradition that is 138 years in the making. We're so fortunate that Union South is the home of the University of Wisconsin Marching Band Hall of Fame. And as you heard, we're going to induct two new members today with the help of Director Emeritus Mike Lacron, who is a Hall of Fame member already. And joining him, this wonderful gentleman to my right is Mark Messer. Mark joined the band in 1969. Which, if my math is correct, that would be the first year, the first band of Professor Lacron. Would, would, would that be correct? Not only was he associated with the band, but he also served nearly 50 years as a field assistant under Professor Lacron. He's been impacting, impacting minds for generations, a teacher in the Madison Metropolitan School District. So please give it up for our newest member in the Hall of Fame, Mark Messer. to my right, the next inductee into the Hall of Fame is Janice Stone. Janice joined the band in the mid 80s, I believe 86, 85, 86, 86. And she has the distinction of being the first lady in the sousaphone section. She 
She's also served as a field assistant for many years. She's also a band director in the Monona Grove uh, School District. So we're really, really happy that, that, that Janice is with us. And she also helps out with the varsity band spring concert. So we've gotten a chance to work together over the last few years. So please welcome our next inductee into the Hall of Fame, Janice Stone. So just like to congratulate Mark and Janice uh, for your meritorious service. We're gonna get the best pictures of you that we can find, and they'll be over there on the wall in the very near future. My dear friend, Mike Lacrone. This, this is a great pleasure for me, just to be able to see these people uh, walk around. <laughs> but it's, uh, it's a great, but this is, I'm very proud of these two in particular because like anything else, you have to be the first, you have to be, Mark was the first to go as many years as he did. And the first thing, Janice was there to be the first female. And uh, that wasn't an easy job in those days. Uh, so, so again, thank you for being this. Corey's doing a great job here. We're very proud of it, too. So uh, keep up the support of what you've been giving us. And uh, may I say for myself, you have no idea how much it speaks to me. Just to be able to see you out here and uh, be a part of it again. So thank you very much. We'll see you real soon on Wisconsin. All right, to honor these two, somebody, anybody remember a group from 1969 called Shocking Blue? The year that Mark started on campus, they recorded a tune called Venus. And then in 1986, when we had our first female tuba player, a group called Bananarama released it. This is Venus.
come. We've got one last track here from the alumni band. Let's give them a big round of applause. Thank you guys, I'm Wisconsin! Time to ring up University of Wisconsin. You guys have picture time.